Okay, go. I found by turning, doing basic troubleshooting, turning one breaker off at a time, that we have three different circuits in this box. All the neutrals are made up under one wire nut. Um, there's still one of these circuits is on. This is a three-way switch. This is a four-way switch. And these are two single pole switches. Three different circuits supplying one circuit. This is on one circuit. This is on a different circuit. This is on a different circuit still. All the, all the neutrals are tied together, which is a code violation and will cause uh, parallel paths to ground yes. on the neutral. Yeah, that's a so. code violation for fire and safety purposes, but it also happens to produce really large magnetic fields, which are biologically damaging. Uh, it's an easy one to avoid if the electrician knows about National Electric Code 300.3b. But since building inspectors don't use magnetic field meters, and mostly they just check by seeing if the lights come on or off, these things go unnoticed, and we find them in one out of four homes. Any other comments? No, I'm just going to separate these neutrals out appropriately so that the, uh, the two sets of travelers feeding this coming in and out of this uh, four-way switch will have the neutrals tied together, isolated from the rest of them. This three-way switch with the switch leg and the uh, travelers will also have the neutral isolated from the other two circuits and then on down to this one. So instead of all the neutrals being under one wire nut, there's going to be three separate wire nuts for the neutrals. Sure. So, and, and how much and do wire nuts cost? Oh, a few cents. Okay, so in other words, the guy saved maybe a nickel or a dime's worth of material here and created a code violation. Yeah, I mean, they probably, they're not aware of, the, of that code and, you know, they're, they're thinking it's a little quicker to just use, just tie all the neutrals together. It's, it's kind of like um, put your brain in a bucket and go mentality. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate your expert commentary. That's all for, for now.